So good day everyone! The topic that we are going to discuss for today is all about the basic techniques in sewing. So first one is we have a hand busting. Hand busting is divided into two, the uneven busting and the even busting. So what is even busting? The even busting, the stitches are equivalent about 1 cm on both sides of the materials and this is used for areas need more security or control such as armhole and neckline. So next one is the uneven busting. The uneven busting is the stitch on the upper side of the fabric is at least twice than the other side and this is just for areas that do not that do not need close control such as straight side and shoulder seams so next one is we have a machine busting so a machine busting is very useful when making butters next is we have a pin busting Pin busting is usually used when a garment is going to be sewn immediately and this is very useful when finishing all a hem. So next one is we have a seams. So what is seams? A seams is a line of a stitching that joins two or more pieces of materials together to form a garment or any sewing project. So we have a types of a seams. First one is we have French seam. A seam within a seam enclosing all row edges. It is a strong and durable but should be used only on straight edges. So this seam is excellent on lightweight and other delicate fabrics. So to make a French seam, First is place the wrong sides of the fabric together so that the right sides are outside. Then base in place. So second one is stitch at least 5 cm from the raw edge of the fabric and trim, trim and press seam to one side. Then turn the fabric so that the right sides are inside. Press on the stitching line. Next one is stitch on the seam line approximately 1.5 cm from the turn edge. Then press to one side. So next one is we have lap seam. The seam is resemble a top stitch plain seam from the right side. This, this seam is commonly used for joining a gathered or plated section to a straight edge as in a yoke. So to make a lap seam, we have a procedure. First is the stitch, stitch the edge to be stop stitch and in seam allowance close to the seam line. So the second one is turn under the stay stitch edge and press carefully. So second a third one is position turn edge to the other garment section on the seam line. Base carefully from the right side. Then the last one is top stitch close to the folded edge. Third one is we have a flat fill seam. This is a flat durable seam designed from the straight edges. It is usually used for men's wear, work clothes, and children's clothes and pajamas that require strong durable seams. So, okay, to make a uh, flat seam we have a procedure so first is place the wrong side of the fabric together and next one is stitch on the seam line for plain seam 
Third is press both sim allowance on one side and then trim the lower sim allowance about half of the allowance. Then turn the upper seam allowance edge under one fourth inch, six millimeter or six millimeter. Then press, pin, and place a stitch. And the last one is stop stitch close to the folded edge. And the right side of the seam will show the row of stitching, and the wrong side will show only one row of station number four corded seam so what is corded seam this seam uses a cord which has been basted inside a bias strip it is usually used in making slip covers to make a corded seam we have a procedure so first one is Place the cord inside the bias strip stitch and then place bias, co bias covered, co a covered cord on the right side of the piece of the material. Base and stitch directly on the same line. St trim edges when necessarily. Place the second piece of fabric right side facing edges together in position as for plain seam based and stitch on the seam line using cording foot so seam edges and finishes there are seams that need to be finished to prevent prevent traveling of rubber fabric edges and to retain the insides of garments so these are called seam, seam finishes. These are also no, known as edge finishes as this may be used in location such location other than the seams allowances such as hem edges and fabric uh, facing. Here are the common seams finishes and how to make them. First one is the pink edge finish. Seam allowance is trimmed with pinking shears. Though, attra though attractive to look at, it is not suitable for fabrics that travel easily. It is useful only on firmly woven fabrics on items that will receive little wear as in garment lining. So next one is we have a double stitch finish. So what is a double stitch finish? This is used on seams under strain such as armholes, crotch seams, and waistline seams. It is done by making a second row of stitching into the seam allowance area approximately 5 cm away from the, from the first line of stitching it can be done using a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch so we have the third one is the edge stitch finish so what is the edge stitch finish this is used on curve on or straight edges of fabric that that does not travel easily this is done stitching about 5 cm from cut edge on both sides of the seams allowance. So we have the fourth one is the clean finish. So what is clean finish? Also called as the, as the turn and edge stretch finish used for lightweight fabrics. To do this, turn the edge of a seam allowance under towards the wrong side of the fabric approximately 0.5 cm and pre press and stitch close to the fold. So next one is we have a machine zigzag finish used on medium or heavyweight fabrics. To do this, you need a sewing machine that has a zigzag stitch capability. Adjust the zigzag 
and a zigzag stitch length depending on the type of fabric. Small zigzag stitches are used on fabrics that ravel easily. So we have next one is the machine over edge finish. So what what is what this means? So this is done using an overlook overlock machine or a serger. It is it produces a cleaner finishes finish for a fabric by removing any raveling edges on fabric. So we have the last we have last one is the bound finish. So this is appropriate for medium heavyweight fabrics that travel easily. This is done using a bias strip 3 cm wide cut from a lining or other lightweight woven fabrics that match or coordinate with the fabric color. This is wrapped on the edges on the seam. That could be all.